From world-class athletes to joggers, Japan is home to a huge population of runners, 10 million of them. About 2,000 open-entry running events are held every year. A chance to enjoy the local scenery and cuisine, these races draw many participants. Why is running so popular in Japan? One factor is Ekiden, a unique long-distance relay event with a century of tradition. Spectators watch running not just for the action, but also for the drama. This time on Japanology Plus, our theme is running. We look at how running became one of Japan's favorite sports after the Second World War. Hello and welcome to Japanology Plus, I'm Peter Barakan. When you hear the word marathon, the image that immediately comes to mind is probably that of the African countries that are the powerhouses of long-distance running. But in fact, Japan too has produced its fair share of marathon runners. For example, if you look at the current list of the top 100 female marathon runners, Japan has the third highest number of athletes after Kenya and Ethiopia. Also, at both the 2000 Olympics in Sydney and the 2004 Olympics in Athens, Japanese women won the gold medal in the marathon. These days in Japan, more and more people are getting involved in amateur running. We'll start our look today at Japan's running culture at this popular jogging circuit around the Imperial Palace in Tokyo. A five-kilometer path encircles the Imperial Palace. This is Japan's most iconic running circuit. It draws 4,000 runners a day, some days as many as 10,000. People run in parks, on roads, and on pretty much any other paved surface. Our guest on this edition is a former Olympic marathon runner, Akemi Masuda. In the 1980s, she was one of the world's top long-distance runners. Now she's a sports journalist, covering marathons and other races. She's also an enthusiastic participant in running events in Japan and abroad. Thank you very much for joining us today and we'll be talking about why so many people in this country like to run. Yes, I'm eager to talk about running with you. I look forward to it. But tell me, do you run yourself? I actually prefer not to expend more energy than necessary, I think. Although, having said that, every morning when I get up, I go out for about 45 minutes, walk around the local park. Oh, fantastic. Walking's a great starting point, and it's never too late to start running. <laughs> First of all, I'm going to show you a facility that caters to runners. I think you'll be impressed. OK, thank you very much. Let's go. OK. Close to the palace is this special facility for runners. They're found in many big cities these days. Hello. Hello. So this is a sportswear shop? No. Although they do sell sportswear, it's a place where runners can come before and after running to get changed. They also have showers. It's kind of a service station for runners. So this is the locker room, as you can see. And further inside is the shower room. Oh, 82 lockers, that's quite a lot. So obviously this is quite a popular place. What kind of people use these sort of facilities? Generally, it's office workers. Women and men come here dressed for work. They change, go for a run, shower, then head to the office. Or they come here after work, change, go for a run, and then shower before commuting home. This place caters to the basic needs of busy runners. I've used the showers here myself. There are plenty of them, and they're clean. I think that women in particular appreciate how well-maintained they are. Hmm. It's incredibly convenient to have something like this right in the middle of the city, isn't it? Here's another facility for runners. There are about 20 of them dotted around the perimeter of the Imperial Palace. 
At 6 p.m., people in business outfits start to arrive. They are office workers who have just finished for the day in nearby buildings. It costs between 500 and 700 yen to use a service station. Typically, you can rent not just towels, but also shoes and a running outfit. This is an important point for people fitting in a run before or after work. The biggest thing for me is being able to rent shoes. I don't have to carry them on my commute. I can use the towel, the shoes, everything they have here. Today, all I brought was my own shorts and shirt. <laughs> it's convenient to drop by after work. Some people set up their own running clubs. You'll see co-workers and others meeting up here and then running together. Many come for more than just the workout. At the office, we all work in different departments. We go for regular runs together, followed by drinks, and that helps us get better acquainted. The service station has become a social hub. We meet other runners here, become friends, and run together. Different people show up on different days. It's a place to make friends with people who share the same interest. That's what I like about it. These facilities for runners aren't simply convenient, they are catalysts for friendship and networking. Peter is going to rent some running shoes and go for a jog. They have a range of running shoes, from ones for serious athletes to ones for new runners, which I recommend for you. I think it's a very good idea. What makes these good for people new to running is that the sole at the heel and the arch is nice and thick and cushioned. The shoe is very stable. Shoes for serious athletes have much thinner soles, so you should go with these red ones today. OK. OK. All right, I guess we're ready to go. The red suits you. They look great. You think so? Yes. Try walking in them. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> shoes are shoes, but yeah, they are. They're kind of bouncy. Okay. Yeah, all right. Not heavy, right? Uh. This will be a first for Peter, even if he doesn't go all the way around the palace. This course around the palace, you can come here just about any time of the day or night and there's always going to be people running. It's really popular. Why do you think that is? People see the Imperial Palace as the center of Japan. To run right in the heart of the nation, a place that's so symbolic, is a dream many runners have. Also, all the cars going by and the tall buildings make it feel a bit like you're performing on stage. A lot of runners like that feeling. I know that when I run here, my posture is straighter, my form's better. Really? People think about that when they're running? Oh, yes. And there are no traffic lights. There are lots of trees, and it's almost exactly five kilometers for one circuit. The elevation changes are just right, and the views are lovely. Really, it's a perfect running spot. Even after dark, the Imperial Palace has plenty of security and police officers, so women feel safe running at night as well. It's not just Tokyo, though, is it? I mean, there are many, many people who run in Japan all over the country. Yes. Around Japan, we are fortunate to have so many places that are scenic and safe with room to run. There are places where we can run around castles or in parks or beside rivers. I think Japanese runners are very lucky in that respect. Japanese people like running, and they also like watching running. 
Especially popular is a running event unique to Japan called Ekiden. It's a long distance relay in which teammates pass on a sash. Ekiden races cover anything from dozens to hundreds of kilometers. There are national championship Ekiden races each year for categories from junior high school up to professional level. Among these, an event for university students, the Hakone Ekiden in early January, is the most grueling. Broadcast live on TV and with more than a million spectators lining the course, it's one of the biggest events on the sporting calendar in Japan. Competitive long-distance running dates back about a century in Japan to when the first small-scale marathons and ekiden races were held around the country. But it was after the Second World War that running came to enjoy passionate support. As Japan rebuilt from the ashes, ekiden and other long-distance races were seen as a way to lift the nation's spirits. Many of today's biggest events had their start in the post-war years. The All Japan High School Ekiden Championships started in 1950. The first event was broadcast live nationwide on radio. Details and results were carried on the radio and in newspapers, boosting the event's popularity with the public. In 1964 came the Tokyo Olympics. Kōkichi Tsuburaya won a marathon bronze medal for Japan, and the nation was enthralled. This was a watershed moment. From that point on, the popularity of the marathon soared. Then, in the 1970s, a fitness boom swept the nation. As the number of open entry distance running races grew, more people began to take up running themselves. As both participants and spectators, the people of Japan embraced the sport of running. In addition to running marathons, Japanese people really enjoy watching them, don't they? It's in the Japanese character to appreciate a steady, tenacious effort to achieve a goal. That's why people like to run themselves. And they also like to watch others keep pushing on towards the finish line. Mm. Mm. And then in Japan, there's the long distance relays, which are admittedly, I mean, the biggest one is held uh, during the New Year's holidays, so people don't have a lot to do. But I I've heard that the television ratings are just astronomical. Mm -hmm. What people love about Ekiden is the sense of solidarity and responsibility, not wanting to let the team down. Ekiden embodies the Japanese virtue of giving one's all for the group. It's very popular, yes. I mean, you have relays in other countries as well, but they tend to be shorter relays. I don't think I've heard of these long ones outside of Japan. No, it's just Japan, I think. The sash is special too. It has a unique significance. In a normal relay, you'd use a baton. Handing on the sash has a strong cultural resonance in Japan. The next runner receives a sash that is soaked with a teammate's sweat. That intensifies the sense of teamwork. This culture of running uh, we saw in the video just now it became especially strong after the Second World War. Um, but it's just as strong, if not even stronger now, and it's 70 years on. Why do you think that is? It's because of physical education. In physical education classes at Japanese schools, especially in the winter, long runs are part of the curriculum. The idea is that having children run long distances without complaining will strengthen the mind and body. So, Children are familiar with distance running from an early age. Having children do long runs also builds their self-esteem. Maybe at first a child can only run for five minutes, but after a while it becomes ten. That improvement becomes a source of self-respect. 
It's a positive educational experience. And that's been part of schooling now for 70 years, since the early post-war period. Running now has deep roots in Japan, and I think that's a factor in its popularity. Today, about 2,000 open entry marathons are held in Japan each year. Some draw hundreds of amateur runners, others tens of thousands, including professional athletes. There are races featuring majestic natural backdrops, such as Mount Fuji, or historic buildings, or streets with an atmosphere that harks back to the days of the samurai. Events like this are an opportunity to enjoy a location's unique charms. And that includes the food. At refreshment stations and at the finish line, many marathons serve up local treats. This is a feature that many runners enjoy. Then there is this race. The runners can snack on sweets and pastries. I think I've had about 10. Delicious, I love it. They're the best. Almost every week somewhere in Japan, a long distance running event is being held that is full of local flavor. Hi, I'm Matt Alt. Believe it or not, on this day alone, over 40 marathons are being held across Japan. Today, I've come to the small hot spring village of Atsumi, located in the mountains of Yamagata Prefecture, population just 8,000. They're holding a special marathon to commemorate the blossoming of the cherry trees. As you can see, this is the 31st year they've held this event. It's a small marathon with just 1,500 participants, but it has a lot of history and tradition. Let's see what it's all about. The entry fee is 5,000 yen for adults and 1,500 yen for school students. The fees pay for organizing the event and for the t-shirt each runner receives. Now this race may be on the smaller side, but they make up for it in hospitality. Lots of families have come out and locals have set up all sorts of shops and services. It's almost like a local festival. One of these services is a massage service. This 77-year-old man is running for the 14th time. This is his way of getting ready for the race. Do you do a lot of running? About eight or nine marathons a year. What do you like about this marathon? I love running amid the cherry blossoms. Very nice. this event, runners choose a distance to run, 5, 10, or 30 kilometers. For children, it's 2 kilometers. Whatever the distance, though, everyone gives it their best shot. Today, unfortunately, it soon starts raining. But that doesn't dampen the spirits of the local volunteers at the refreshment stations along the way. Their job is to keep runners fueled with things like sports drinks and bananas. Cheering squads are a big part of Japanese sporting events. And even at small ones like this, the locals come out to encourage the runners. The rain makes it tough, huh? Yes, it does. Are you from around here? Yes. And you come out every year. Why do you cheer? They're all trying so hard. The least we can do is cheer them on, for goodness sake. I had to admit, she had a point. So I joined in. Near the finish line, the spectators wait for stragglers. 
You never know who will turn up next. Playing on in the rain, a school drum team welcomes the competitors as they cross the line after a two or three hour run. Across the finish line, there's a special treat waiting for participants. Miso soup with shrimp, a local delicacy. This soup is absolutely bursting with flavor. What's so great about this marathon? The cherry blossoms in full bloom. They're lovely. I was too out of breath to look, though. Was it tough to run in the rain? It was my first one in the rain, so I was a bit uneasy, but it felt good. You're a veteran? No, first time. Would you do it again? Oh, yes. And what's next for you? A soak in the hot spring, then something good to eat. Now here's another treat of this particular marathon, getting to enjoy the hot springs after the run. That's the great thing about participating in local marathons like this. There's over 2,000 of them held every year across Japan. So next time you're in the country, check the listings. You never know. It's a great way to combine exercise and vacation. See you next time. Japan has lots of amateur runners and also more than 1,000 professionals who compete in earnest and aim to set records. These so-called corporate runners promote the companies sponsoring them as they run in Ekiden events and marathons. Japan's best long-distance runners are world-class. Numerous Olympic marathon medalists have emerged from their ranks. For the companies, successful runners generate great publicity. And as other employees turn out to cheer them on, the runners help to promote company unity. For the runners, being employed by a company ensures a stable income. They can look forward to a long career. Shuhei Mito, 19 years old, is a corporate runner. He's employed at a supermarket where he often works a full day from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. He trains before and after work and on days off. I don't just want to be a better runner. I want to be a better person. This work environment helps me to pursue that objective. I want to give my job and my running everything I've got. Mito's goal is to represent Japan in the 2020 Tokyo Olympics as a marathon runner. He says that competing for his employer is a major source of motivation. I run with my company's name displayed on my uniform. Obviously, I don't want to let them down by running poorly. They do so much to support my running. So, I want to pay them back with a good result. That really drives me on. It's very important. Mito's team includes not just Japanese runners, but also a Kenyan, Duncan Mude. In fact, many corporate teams bring in top performers from Kenya, a country renowned for its long-distance success. Mude is among about 40 Kenyan-born runners based in Japan who are representing Japanese companies. Like Mito, Mude has to find time to train outside regular work hours. He finds much to appreciate in Japan beyond the financial rewards. Good track, weather, environment, Environment is very good in Japan, and that is why you are getting more faster than faster. It's interesting that Kenyans would come to Japan, and you, you wondered what they would have to learn, really, wouldn't you? It's often said that Japanese runners have tremendous perseverance and take training very seriously. 
The Kenyan runner Samuel Wanjiru won a gold medal at the 2008 Beijing Olympics. Before that, he had run in Japan at the high school and at the corporate level. I had a chance to speak with him. I asked him what he learned in Japan, and he said to grin and bear it. Mm. It certainly is. It's a very typically Japanese quality, isn't it? What do you think it is that makes Japanese marathon runners as strong as they are? Well, Japan has such a large selection of elite runners to choose from. They include great marathon runners and ekiden runners. There are more corporate long-distance runners than the number of professional sumo wrestlers, and sumo is the national sport. More corporate runners than the number of professional baseball players. Really? That's, that's a little surprising. Oh. And the broader the base, the higher the peak. The good runners are likely to be very good. Another reason Japanese runners are strong is the number of competitive events we have here at the high school, university and corporate levels. Uh, compared with other countries? Yes. Uh. These events give runners different targets to aim for as they train. And because people in Japan like watching marathons, you get a lot of spectators. With so many fans, the big races get broadcast live on TV. The high school ekiden, university ekiden, corporate ekiden, all the national championship races are shown live. And they get good ratings. Those audiences are another motivator for runners. People enjoy watching. There's a great environment for the sport here in Japan. Peter, you've learned a lot about the world of running today. Any thoughts? You know, when we were running down by the palace uh, earlier on, I have these bright red running shoes now, and I must say they do make a difference. There's a spring in your step, that, at least in mine, that I wouldn't have had otherwise. And now we have this rain coming on, perhaps we should run back before we get too wet. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> 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 <laughs>